This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to Central Oregon Living and Homesteading. I want to thank you very much for uh, supporting our channel and please share our videos, help us grow. We really appreciate it. So I was watching uh, some videos about what you need to learn to start or be a beginner uh, in homesteading. And there's a whole lot of things that they brought up that I thought was a pretty good uh, subject to talk about. And it's getting ready. So I know there's a lot of anxious people that are wanting to get the heck out of the city. And it's much more complicated than just getting out of the city. Well, if you have a house or a condo or something like that, and some of your crazy cities that are out there, they're having a hard time. Can you sell? Because if you're going to move out farther, uh, you've probably got property already. Um, and uh, the economy is kind of odd right now. Some states are booming in their real estate, like ours was in Arizona. And it's actually booming kind of here in, in the Central Oregon area uh, because folks are moving out here. But some of the things, uh, once you get past that, is what do you want to do? Is uh, the big part is you don't have to have tons of acreage. You can do amazing things with an acre. Uh, but until then, there's a lot of things you should do to get ready. So you want more freedom. You want to be more self-reliant. For example, let's say you just have a little yard in towards the city or suburbs. And uh, uh, practice by growing things in your porch or if you're in an apartment off your deck. And just take simple things like I do here with this uh, tomato plant and uh, just go through the process. Uh, for example, right now it's f almost fall and I think I might be able to squeeze in some broccoli. So we, uh, um, we learned how to ra uh, grow microgreens which is a great way to also get plants started fast. So we uh, took the microgreen process, took our uh, broccoli seeds and got them fired up. And they're already starting. And then we'll uh, uh, get them to about past two leaves or more and then slowly expose them to the climate and then transplant them out to the new area that Sherry's been cleaning up. But that, that was a learned thing that we just learned in maybe two years ago. And so what they're bringing up is while you're waiting or while you're trying to find a way to get away from the cities, uh, I know there's a lot of factors. Jobs, can you work virtual? Can you work with less money? Um, or can you learn to live without spending so much money to be more self-reliant? Can you learn how to buy in bulk? And, uh, oh, by the way, I got to show you this. I still think this is the coolest thing. These are my tomatoes mixed in with, uh, <laughs> mixed in with, uh, these, this flower. I can't remember what they call it. And so it looks like my tomatoes have got flowers in it. And, uh, oh, and one of my tomatoes is starting to turn red. And, uh, that was just an accident waiting to happen. So... Uh, my point is, is the more that you can do now before you actually do move out or get property or try to be self-reliant, it's okay to learn how to plant a couple things. It's okay to uh, practice. But the other thing is learning how to grow your own food is just fun and dandy. Which is, that's a skill in itself. But uh, Can you preserve it? So Sherry and I, uh, in the last two years or so, we were doing a lot of simple things like we've really never done canning or pressure cooking and things like that. So we just went to the grocery store, bought a whole bunch of uh, cucumbers, cut them up and pickled them. And then we did our own beets. And then we learned how to uh, uh, use a dryer, a dehydrator. And uh, 
even though it's not your own food, uh, you can practice and learn how to learn to do the safe processes for uh, preserving your food. And uh, so our, we have in Arizona, if you go back in our videos way back, you'll see that we're doing a lot of uh, above ground gardening. Learn so much. And it's prepared us for this, our five and a half acres. So this, when it's done, this is, it's hard to see, is going to be our new garden, a 25 by 25. Could it be bigger? Oh yeah, it could be much bigger. But once again, Sherry and I both like, let's not take on more than we can handle because we're not doing above ground gardening. This time we're gonna do just regular garden beds here. And so we've cut the ground, cleared it out. Uh, we got a rototiller on our way. We got to amend our soil, totally different soil than we had in Arizona. And uh, so uh, it's all new. We could fail. <laughs> Better to fail on 25 by 25 than uh, 25 by 50. So we got some more things to learn. So the point is you're going to keep learning even once you even get the property or get away from the cities and try to be more self-sufficient. And can you build things and fix things? I can't say I'm the best at it. Um, but if you're willing to learn, willing to learn how to use tools, willing to try, you'll be fine. And yes, you'll have some pretty funny stories. Our chicken pen here, that was a, normally I just make a simple little box and put a door on it and all that. But we decided, no, we're gonna go all out. We're gonna do this right. So we created the cutest little thing. We've never built anything like this. And now we got nesting boxes to die for. And uh, we're pretty proud of that and learning how to compost. We've heard about it. Uh, I've never done it. And we're starting to. Uh, then you, depending on the property, you know, uh, you have to find out what you're allowed to have on your property. Uh, we can't have a cow. And that's okay, actually, because there's a whole bunch of ranches all around me and they're, they're actually happy to sell their cows um, on a co-op. So that's exactly what we did. So it's kind of like be building a community. Um, and that's another thing. If you've always been a lone wolf, then uh, it's time to learn to work with others and realize that, um, as I see the chickens there, they're getting quite brave. So uh, we're tickled pink will be more sufficient with that. Uh, we might go into meat birds next year. It depends. If I do that, it's going to cost a lot of money and equipment. I've got to learn. I've actually raised animals before and, and raised my own turkeys and butchered them and stuff like that. But to do it on a bigger scale, haven't done that before. So my point is, be open-minded. Learn what you can before you get out here. Now that I'm here with property, uh, wow, can you drive a tractor? Do you know how to uh, churn up the ground? Do you know how to mend your soil? Do you know how to hook, uh, make uh, water systems? Uh, I didn't know how to do all that three years ago. Uh, luckily, I did it on a small scale. Now I got this gigantic scale. I have a 16 channel uh, water system on this property. I only had like two at the <laughs> Arizona. and. Uh, I've driven tractors before, but I had to learn how to do a back, um, uh, how to use a bucket. Wasn't didn't do the best job, <laughs> but uh, hey, I just dive in and do it. So if somebody laughs at me. Oh, who cares? Um, little things like how to deal with critters, mice, getting into things, uh, predators. If you're gonna have animals, you got to take care of them. So if you don't have a cat or dog now. You should have one just to learn how to take care of one. Take care of chickens is not. You got to make sure they have water every day, food every day, 
that they're safe every day. Lighting systems. I don't know if I even showed anybody, but I use these uh, new solar lights out here. LEDs. They're awesome. Totally awesome. Anything moves around here at night. This thing lights up like a candle. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I know. So, I, I guess I want to encourage people to do this. And I know you might be anxious, you know, anxious to get out and get away from all the craziness. And uh, you, for those who are awake, you guys should realize by now we have some serious issues. Yes, we know there's an election coming. And really, no matter how it turns out, we still got a problem. We have food shortages. We're going to have one side against the other. We're going to have, uh, it's not so much manufacturing problems, which we do, it's distribution is a problem. People are sick, pe uh, people are, uh, companies are running at half capacity, distribution is at half capacity, and uh, which means the shelves on the grocery stores are going to be uh, spotty. I mean, I've heard the craziest things, like, shortages on toasters. I have a hard time finding steel garbage cans like you saw back there. Uh, lumber. I can't get the lumber I want. Uh, so I have to redesign things to uh, work with the size of lumbers I can get. And the prices are going up. Inflation is coming. Because uh, I mean, the, don't look at the stock market. Uh, that's a whole nother world in itself. Us little guys, <laughs> we're not part of it. Other than that, some of us have 401ks and, and, and funds in there. Uh, I guess it's a good thing that those are uh, doing all right. But how long can they keep that up? So learning how to jar, learning how to ferment, how to pickle, how to freeze things, how to dry things. You can do that right now. Learning how to grow a few things. Do it off your porch. Do a little above ground garden. I know some of you guys are getting ready to go into the winter, but if you're down in like Arizona, you have a whole season right now starting. Uh, we have a little bit of season left for uh, plants that can handle a little frost and a little freezing. Um, can you... Can you chop wood? Do you know how to, when you live out in the, out in the uh, wilderness a little bit, you're going to have power outages more. You may have a problem getting water. How are you going to deal with that? Uh, and, for example, Sherry, learning all about clearing out areas to, for gardening, she's uh, been amazing and hasn't done all this stuff before. Oh, the other thing is I've got to spend money, both of us, on equipment we've never had before. Uh, edgers, a little uh, trench digger, a new rototiller, uh, things like that. So by the way, this is area is coming along really good. Sherry's been working really hard on it. She's got this all cleared out. Got that all done. Now she's tackling this side, and if you guys remember last week, I showed this was all bushy. She's got this all cleared out, looking good. And I have water lines that need to be fixed. Can you do that kind of stuff? Well, do it on a small scale. Um, yeah. So the trick is, once you get out here, learning how to be, grow things, then preserve things, and then learning how to buy in bulk. And when you do that, that'll be a, a new way of learning how to store food. And then learning how to cook from scratch. Uh, now Sherry and I are just as famous for getting instant stuff. In our prepping, a lot of things we have, we just add water. But can you make a cake from scratch? Can you make bread? Can you make bread if your power's out? How would you do that? Um, yeah, there's a lot of little skills 
you can start working on and get excited. Uh, maybe your plan is a year or two from now, which the sooner the better, but if you that's the way it's going to be for you, be ready for it. Don't just buy property and say, I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to build buildings and things like that. It's uh, um, not that easy. <laughs> um, and you'll make mistakes. Like here, I'm looking at my one little zucchini. I didn't. Be, I wasn't able to do gardening this year. We got here too late. So I just threw a couple of things in the ground. And uh, by golly, I do have some a uh, little bit of zucchini coming. But I failed on other things. Tomatoes are good, but uh, I need to do it on a much larger scale starting next spring. I may have to build high towers and another. Uh, I do have a garden room uh, off the edge of the house here just devoted to starting plants and stuff and I got to get that thing operational by uh, February March uh, so anyway um, I hope this is encouraging but at the same time if you're waiting or trying to get out here or trying to be you want to be self-sufficient well, before you do that, start building up your skills. And trust me, uh, every day working on this place, I'm learning to use a new tool, learning new processes, going to YouTube a lot, and put into detail what you're trying to do. And you'd be amazed there'll be a video about it. And, uh, yeah, fixing ponds, uh, putting up fences. Have you ever done that before? Well, do it in a small scale. Learn how to do it. And a lot of times if you put gardening and things really neat in your yard, when you do sell your house, it was funny that every offer we got on our house before it sold, all of them said, please leave the garden in there. Leave all the parts in there. Um, and uh, every single one. So you'll bring up the... Uh, enthusiasm for someone who wants to buy a house that's outside the city or just in the suburbs that have some gardens in them and, and things like that so I hope this was a good video for you um, I want to help get you expire, inspired to uh, get started and realize you got a lot to learn so do I uh, every day and I'm older than most of you guys. I'm learning something new. And I'm embracing it. Some of it's really fun. Some of it's like scary. Uh, using equipment I've never used before. Uh, <laughs> to buy a tractor and think you can just start working the soil. Uh, <laughs> no. It, I mean yes, but at the same time you're not going to be very good at it. But that's all right until you start doing it you won't get better so i hope this was uh good for you i hope uh i'd love to hear your comments are you thinking about making a change and what are you doing today to get ready for tomorrow are you learning how to preserve food are you learning how to buy in bulk are you learning how to uh <coughs> work with tools um are you gardening uh, to just think you can just hop out here and do it. Gardening's a skill. And you're, and everybody's regions are different. Uh, some seasons are short. Some are longer. Arizona, you have like two seasons. Um, what are you going to do about water? Can you fix, fix things? Um, somebody made a suggestion. Let's go to the thrift store and buy broken things. And then take them apart and learn how to fix them. <laughs> Why not? Uh, so anyway. I'll, I don't like my videos being too long. So anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. I'm glad we had a chance to have a talk. Please leave your comments below. Please help us grow this channel. We really appreciate it. Um, uh, for those of you that do this kind of stuff, you might want to start a channel. It's a little extra income. The bigger you can make your channel, the more it would be helpful. And uh, to uh, bring in an extra income to your homestead. Uh, don't rely on it, though. It's hard. 
Uh, some of us have had our channels for a long time, and uh, nowadays to start a channel and get monetized is tough. And uh, anyway, thank you. You guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.